state senators will discuss whether or not they'll challenge Governor Pete Ricketts' veto on the death penalty. On Tuesday, Ricketts officially vetoed the bill that would repeal capital punishment. Last week, lawmakers passed it with 32 votes. 30 are needed to override that veto. The governor is still working to change votes. It sends the message to criminals that Nebraska will be soft on crime. That's not the message that Nebraskans want. It's not the message I want. And it's not the f message the folks up here with me want. Supporters are confident that the bill will become law. If lawmakers override Governor Ricketts veto, Nebraska would become the first conservative state to repeal the death penalty since North Dakota in 1973.